All right, here we go. Camera's rolling. Uh, this is the second video in a three or four video series on this uh, little Chinese built uh, radio controlled jet aircraft. Uh, this is a scale model of the old Russian MiG-15 that was, um, I think this was, the Russians used this back during the, the days of the Korean conflict. And it flew, um, I think that the American F-86 Sabre jet was just almost identical to this. I think the Russians actually copied the American F-86 when they built this jet. but. Uh, I made a video last week of this, this little aircraft when I had it about half finished and just stuck together and, and had the uh, some of the components in it. I was just anxious to see um, how it was going to work and, and uh, how much power it was going to have. I've, I've flown uh, and played with radio control aircrafts and race boats for years, but I have never fooled with the jet. This is my first jet and I've always wanted to and I've just had a blast fooling with this thing. And uh, shortly down the road when we get a good uh, calm, clear uh, uh, a day, it, it's going up in the air. A friend of mine, uh, Bob Denning, is going to fly it. This plane's just a little advanced for me right now. I can fly slower planes but uh, I'm not up near up to flying this thing. This this plane will fly about 65 miles an hour actual speed. Um, there are radio con jet, con excuse me, radio control jets built today that will fly 120 miles an hour. I saw one about, I guess, seven years ago when they first came out at the Lexington Model Airplane Club's uh, show. Gentleman came down from Cincinnati and had one, one of the first ones out, and it just amazed us all. He was making low passes over the runway at 120 miles an hour. And the plane, I think, was not quite as big as this one. But uh, what I'm going to do today is, uh, is, is put the power pack in it, uh, set it up, turn it on. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate the, the transmitter controls on how you control this thing. And uh, up the canopy on it excuse me, pop the canopy on it, and um, then I'm going to run the turbine up wide open like I did in the first video and let it sit there, and I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and move it around the uh, aircraft to give a, give a good view of all sides of it. I'm going to take the uh, camera around to the back of the jet and uh, move it into the jet wash and move it right up into the nozzle so you can... Uh, uh, here and see, uh, you know, the forces generated with this thing. So let's get started. This is the uh, lithium polymer power cell that powers the thing, and it's rechargeable. It takes about 40 minutes to uh, charge this thing up on a special charger. This is the charge lead that plugs into the charger. And then this lead is the lead that plugs into the uh, computer speed control board the aircraft. So what I'm going to do is drop it into position. Goes down this slot here. Let's get this out of the way. I'm going to turn the uh, transmitter on first. I'll move around the plane and uh, plug the power cell. Let's see, throttle plug the power cell in. That's going to activate the computer and the computer is going to beep at us to let us know it's online. And it is. So we can put the canopy on. Go. 
Okay, we got power. Let's see what we got here. Let's move the throttle up a little bit and act activate the turbine. I've got the nose gear on this thing wired down to the bench so the jet won't go anywhere when I apply power to it. If you've never seen a transmitter that you use to fly one of these things, this is it. There's uh, two sticks on the transmitter that you want. your left hand goes on the left one naturally and your right thumb goes on the right stick. They are two axis sticks, the right one left and right controls the ailerons. The ailerons are the control surfaces on the wing you see moving. And then when you move the uh, stick up and down, they, that controls the uh, elevators back there on the uh, rear horizontal stabilizer. And I think you can see them moving up and down. And then there's the, there's the ailerons back and forth. Then when this thing's on the ground, if you want to steer it by the nose wheel on the throttle axis, here's the throttle, you move the stick left and right, and I think you can see the nose wheel moving left and right. This is virtually... This is not an easy thing to do. You have to transition up through, through uh, slower beginner's aircraft so you get the feel of doing this. And then, after you get onto it, it's just like anything else. You don't even think about it. Uh, like typing or, 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 you know, whatever. This becomes automatic, but it takes a long while and good instruction to get to that point. So, so let's, let's put a little power to it and see how it's going to act. All right. Now I'm going to run the uh, I'm going to run the turbine now up to full throttle. Set the transmitter aside, and then I'm going to take the camera off the tripod slowly so I won't mess up the video, video if I can, and just move it all around the aircraft with the aircraft running uh, full force. So let's get on with it.